back with another review. Uh, we're going to do a review real quick of the Rocky Mountain Barber Company. I'm going to be talking about their beard oil and their beard balm. So um, <clears throat> there's a number of really good things going on with this company. Uh, first and foremost, I love their scents. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of their shave products in a minute. But I actually stumbled across this company uh, in 2017 when I got some of their shaving products. And one of the things that I just absolutely loved right off the bat was the scent, the sandalwood uh, smell on their shaving products. And so when it came time to go ahead and try some of their beard products, beard care products, uh, sandalwood was one of the scents that they had. They've got uh, two or three others that sound just as good, but I knew that I wanted to try that one. So. Uh, without question, one of the things that I love about this entire line is they have nailed quite well uh, the scent game. Um, I haven't tried the others, but here's another feature that I like about their scents is most of them are wood-based and they don't have too many. Um, on occasion, when I look at some beard companies, uh, they have like, you know, eight, nine, ten different smells to choose from and it can be a little bit like I don't know which one to try. Uh, this company has about three, I think, three and then unscented. And if the other smells are anything at all as good as this one, you probably can't go wrong with any one that you pick. So as far as the scent goes and how, and how you smell when you use the product, I'm, I'm completely in love with them, okay? Uh, here's another great thing that I like about their beard oil. In a video a long time ago talking about different brands, one of the things that I talked about was Sometimes beard oil is too oily, and I know that sounds funny, but what I mean is you put the product on, not even necessarily that much, and then later in the day, you touch your beard, and you're literally oily. It's like it doesn't get absorbed. I don't know if they're using a certain carrier oil that just doesn't interact with the hair or uh, your skin follicle, the hair follicles or your skin, and it doesn't get absorbed. And so if it's not getting absorbed, then it's not hydrating uh, the beard hair. So um, they've nailed it again with that kind of thing. You can use a little bit of product. There's been a couple days that have actually used kind of a heavy amount of product because of the temperature and what was going, going on in the weather. My skin was real dry, everything felt real dry. So I basically used two dropper fulls, which is quite a bit. And not very long later, same thing, I touched the beard, felt hydrated and healthy, but wasn't oily. So they've got the right combination of oils as far as the beneficial oils and the carrier oils and the scent. They've nailed the formula, so really good job there. Um, as far as their beard balm goes, there's beard balms, in my opinion, they kind of fall into uh, categories much like hair. You've got firm hold, moderate hold, hydrating, textured. You've got all different kinds of products that you would use in your hair. It's the same kind of thing with beard balms. Sometimes balms are designed for control and they're very waxy, uh, sometimes even hard to apply. You've got a, you know, a hard time getting out of there. It's full of wax. Um, you've got to warm it up a lot before you can get on the beard. And others are very buttery. They're almost like if, you, if your bathroom's too hot, uh, it might even be a little bit melted, if you will. So one, that if it's a little bit buttery, it might be designed more for conditioning the beard, okay? Hydrating and trying to make everything super healthy. Whereas the other one, like I said, if it's very, very heavy and waxy, it might be designed more for control. Um, what I like about their product here, their beard balm, is it seems to be right down the middle. It's not very hard to apply. Um, it's got just enough wax to give a little bit of control, and it also does a great job in, in hydrating. So they've nailed it right down the middle. If you've got a crazy beard that you're looking to uh, tame, you might want to find a, a different uh, a different balm that's you know like a heavy duty, heavy wax. Um, on the other hand, uh, there's some other companies that I've tried where the balm is is almost like a beard oil, just in a balmy kind of sense. Like I said, they've nailed it by being right down the middle. So um, I can't say enough good things about their beard oil and their beard balm. Now, here's another thing that I really, really like about this company is they've got a full line of skin and hair care for men. Okay, if you go to their website, so if you Google Texas, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Rocky Mountain Barber Company, 
if you Google and take a look, they've got the beard products, they've got the shaving products. This is how I originally found them. Um, this is their is their shave cream, which when I use it, I use in a cup uh, with an old fashioned um, uh, old fashioned brush. A pre shave oil, same scent. Post shave balm, same scent. So you've got a system for shaving if you have to shave or the parts of your face that you're going to shave that works well with all of their other products. They've got soaps. They've got um, they've got hair products. I forgot to bring it out here, but one of the other products that I use is a pomade. They've got three or four different hair products, just like I was saying before. Some are for more control, some are for less control. Uh, but their pomade is one of my top three favorite pomades that I've been that I've used, and I've been using their pomade for about probably two or three years now. Um, they've got uh, they, I think they have a deodorant. They've got body washes, and I want to say that they now even have their own razors. So they've got, and also skincare, eye cream. So they've got the whole setup for what you need as a man, whether you're clean shaven, whether you've got the beard, whether you're going back and forth in between. Um, everything I've tried from this company has been rock solid. So great oil, perfect formula. Um, and like I said, on the beard balm, right down the middle. The scent, you can't beat it. So hope you guys will take a look at this company. Uh, Rocky Mountain Barber Company, and as always, hope this helps.